Air Valley traffic commits to your Papa. Short final one seven. Gonna be full. What's that? Ah, oh, Amber Alert. I gotta go find this girl. Air Valley traffic commits. She's going around. Hey guys, have you ever been on an airplane that didn't land? Um, some, well, I mean, they, they all have to come down at some point. I don't think we've ever gotten one stuck up there. The point is, sometimes a pilot will land the plane and sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll go missed or go around or divert. Today I want to talk about factors that drive these decisions. I'll share with you a scenario that happens a lot here in this really busy airspace in which I fly. Around here, a lot of the times, uh, I'll be flying into an airport. Sometimes it's towered, sometimes it's not. Uh, and the airspace is so busy, the communication gets really messed up. Let me show you an example. Gainesville traffic, Mitch two zero pop is on the 45 degree downwind entry for runway 18. We're a uh, full stop, Gainesville traffic. Meow. 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 Got a traffic pattern full of cats and I'm allergic. Not today. Gainesville traffic, come in, your pop is going missed. A lot of pilots would have flown in there and landed no problem, but I'm allergic to cats. Uh, I don't want to try to land there, and then now I'm trying to land a plane while I'm sneezing. It's not safe. The right decision for me was to divert to a different airport. Let's talk about another reason that you might choose to not land. Here's one right here. A lot of the time, scheduling comes into play. Uh, let, me, let me show you a clip, and then we'll talk about it. Air Valley traffic, Comanche 20 Papa's, four miles out, straight in, one seven, full stop, Air Valley. Oh crap, I'm right on time. This is exactly when I told her I was gonna beat landing. Oh! Air Valley traffic, Comanche's going around. We didn't spend years of flying, establishing patterns of coming home three hours later than you said you were going to be, just so they find out we can actually get home on time, and now we're going to be held to a new standard? No, not on my watch. I've been a pilot for 12 years, and during that time I've been married to the same woman, and I've had two children. I've established a pattern of coming home three to four hours after I said I'm going to be there. If I were to show up on time, I'm going to mess that whole thing up, and I'm going to create this new expectation that I can get home on time. I'm not about to do that. Let's talk about another reason a pilot may not choose to land. What if there's something on the runway? Uh, this is kind of an interesting story. When I was training, uh, sometimes we would get down almost to the flare and my instructor would be like, oh my gosh, there's a coyote on the runway. He'd make up some animal. The coyotes are real. It's not a made up animal, but he would, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I thought this is never going to happen in real life. I looked over there because I heard a noise. Uh, it was my dog. This video is taking a weird turn. Um, <laughs> I always thought, well, this is never going to happen in real life. This is, we get so low to the ground. He makes up an animal on the runway. Uh, one day I was landing at Cedar Mills, which is a grass runway on Lake Texoma, and legitimately in the flare with a stall horn going off and a bunch of geese on the runway, and so I had to go around. I don't know why I just put a real clip in a fake video. This is a fake video, by the way. Uh, but sometimes there's stuff on the runway and a pilot may see something on the runway and decide that he's got to go around. Let me show you a fake clip. Air Valley traffic, Mitch 20 Papa, straight in, 3-5, full stop. What is that on the runway? Something on the runway. That's like a bunch of babies or something. Well, I'm not getting that caught in my propeller today. Air Valley traffic, Mitch 20 Papa, we're going around. What about equipment malfunctions? You don't want to hear this if you're scared of flying already, but planes break and they break all the time and they break big and lots of stuff breaks on them. So if you're in a plane, something breaks, which is probably going to happen, uh, you need to get the plane down. So uh, here's an example of an equipment malfunction in which you probably need to take some like emergency action. Oh crap. The GoPro on my wing fell over. They're not going to be able to film this landing. If I'm not filming the landing, how's anybody on the internet going to believe that I'm a pilot? God, all right. Gainesville traffic, 2 your Papa, I gotta declare an emergency, uh, then I'm gonna land, uh, and then I'm gonna go around. Uh, Gainesville traffic, we're coming down in spite of the cats. That was a time when I had to make a quick decision because that equipment could have compromised the safety of the flight. So you saw me take action. Um, sometimes an, an emergency could come up that's not really your problem. Um, and I showed this clip at the beginning, but uh, YouTube likes longer videos, so let's watch it again. Air Valley traffic, come in, your Papa, short final 1-7, going to be full... What is that? Wow, oh, Amber Alert. 
Damn it, I gotta go find this girl. Everybody traffic, come in, she's going around. I think in that scenario, I took the appropriate action. Uh, the only thing I wish would have been different is I wish I had more people in the plane so we could get more people looking for her. Uh, we didn't find her. All right, so we talked about not landing. Let's talk about landing. Did you know there's times in a plane when you land when you gotta make a tough decision and maybe you shouldn't land, but you do anyway, or you start to evaluate some different things? I'll give you some scenarios here. Um, there can be some minor equipment issues if you get some misreadings or something. Um, let me just paint a picture for you using a video that I already recorded. Bent Tower, Comanche 20, Papa is four miles to the west, inbound with information in Lima. Comanche 20, Papa, you are not cleared to land. The airport is closed at this time. I hear what you're saying, but my fuel gauge is playing the how accurate do you think I am game right now, and so I'm landing. Comanche 20, Papa, I can vector you to another airport if needed. Uh, no, Denton Tower, I'm uh, four miles out and I am landing. Uh, in fact, go ahead and just uh, switch me to ground control now. I know what I'm doing. That last radio call requires a lot of confidence. Another factor in determining whether or not to land is the weather itself. A lot of the times you'll hear pilots talk about minimums. Um, this is below my minimums or it's at minimums. Um, and so you have certain numbers and factors you look at and make the determination whether or not to land. Sometimes you make the right call and sometimes you don't make the call, but it's almost always a learning opportunity. This is awful. It's raining, I'm in the clouds, I can't see. I'm not sure the gear's down, the flaps aren't working, but damn it, I'm way overdue for a learning opportunity. I'm landing. Once you've committed to landing, you need to get everything else out of your head. Any of the factors that push you to make this decision, put them in the back of your mind. Now you need to focus on making an absolutely beautiful, perfect landing. Uh, I'll show you an example right here. Boy, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Last thing to address here is that issues don't always come up in the air. Sometimes things happen on the ground, uh, and I'll give you an example. Oh crap, we got a bumpy runway. This is ground turbulence, and so I need to take off so I can go around. Air by the traffic commission, 420 Papa is going to depart 17 and come back and then go around. All right, that's it. Now you know when to land, you know when not to land, and you know why pilots don't land sometimes and why they do land sometimes. Uh, at the end of the day, the plane always needs to end up back on the ground one way or the other. Um, so make sure that happens. Uh, that's all I got for today. You guys fly smart and I'll catch you in the next one. Personally, I've been flying for... How long have I been flying? Today we're going to talk about the factors that drive these... G -g 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 decisions or choices, Brian, what is it? Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.